Ex-Illinois Governor Rod Blagojevich could take the stand as early as today in his corruption trial, and his words may determine whether he goes to prison. CBS News correspondent Cynthia Bowers reports. Hey, Governor, how you doing today? I'm doing good, man. How are you? There's no doubt Rod Blagojevich loves the limelight, playing to crowds at the very courthouse where his fate hangs in the balance. All right, looking good. For the last month, it's been the prosecutors using his own words to try and prove bribery and corruption charges. Their wiretaps capture a foul-mouthed governor jealous of Barack Obama. I mean, you got this historic f***ing demigod. He's a demigod now. And seemingly desperate to parlay his power to appoint the next U.S. senator into something for himself. I mean, I, I've got this thing, and it's f***ing golden. And I, I'm just not giving it up for Nothing. He shelled out thousands for designer suits while racking up enormous debts. Monday, there was testimony from his brother Rob, also on trial, alleging representatives for Congressman Jesse Jackson Jr. said they could raise $6 million for Blagojevich in campaign cash if their man was appointed to the Senate. Noted defense attorney Stephen Greenberg says he's far from sure the government proved its case. What does Blagojevich need to do on the stand? Blagojevich needs to convince the people that he's just a blowhard, that he was just venting, that he had no illegal intent, that he wasn't taking money from anyone, and he was just conducting business like he thinks politics should be conducted. His testimony could be riveting because as a lawyer, he knows how to handle other attorneys. As a politician, he knows how to handle voters. But this tiny constituency of just 12, the jury just might be the toughest voters he's ever faced. Cynthia Bowers, CBS News, Chicago.